Virginia Tech opens the season at home against William and Mary. That's right, Frank Beamer and the boys looking comfortable at Lane Stadium, even dancing. First quarter, the new starting quarterback for the Hokies, Michael Brewer, steps up in the pocket. Isaiah Ford, the defense should be arrested for neglect, leaving Ford wide open, 13-yard touchdown. The first Brewer touchdown is a member of the Virginia Tech football team. Now third and three, trying to keep the drive alive with the pass. Tip by Chris Donald, intercepted by Eric Green. William & Mary takes control. And on the first play after the INT, William & Mary QB Steve Cluley, deep, great catch. Trey McBride, 43-yard pickup. That sets up a William & Mary field goal, 7-6. Hokies just up one point. Now Chase Williams. The sack. Derek DiNardo picks it up. Oh, he should put it in the pen. But he doesn't have the vision of a running back, so he doesn't see that guy coming, taken down at the two, but the Hokies of business, first and goal. And from there, after a penalty, Brewer connects with Bucky Hodges, the touchdown there. Hodges led the Hokies with six catches in the game. 14-6 Hokies, watch Hodges again, fighting for this one. Bobbles, brings it down, that's a must-see moment. 17-6, Virginia Tech leading at the half. Now in the third quarter, Teams have traded field goals 20 to 9. Shy McKenzie. Don't be bashful. 20, 10, and the dive. That's for effect, really. Style points there. Touchdown 27 9. McKenzie, 106 yards rushing in the game. Fourth quarter. Brewers pass to Willie Byrne. Can he get into the end zone? No, but the Hokies are right there. That sets up a JC Coleman touchdown 34 to 9, and that's how it ends. The Hokies. Start the season with a strong win, 34-9 over William & Mary. Next up, Ohio State. I'm Jeff Fischel. You're watching the ACC Digital Network, brought to you by Ruby Tuesday.